Welcome to Hobart, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Man. West Indies won the toss. They have chosen a field. David Warner playing in his 100th T20 International. Shaped a switch. Oh, gee, that's well timed. He was shaping and then just drove it straight past big Andre Russell for the opening boundary. Gets inside it. That is a class shot from David Warner. He moved early. Oh, to the leg stump. And that was always going to disappear from Warner. First six of the evening. Inglis beats fine. Runs flowing for the Aussies. Smashed. Smashed by Warner. Boundary seven. Jeez, picked that up really well. For a moment he looked out of position, Inglis, then he just whacked it away over back with square feet. Oh, oh. drops. He got across Puran. Absolute class, David Warner. Match 100, 50, number 25 off just 22 deliveries, nine fours and a six. Hold it back, sent out towards the field, diving effort, and just saves the boundary. Slower again, out. Slow ball works, hold it gets the wicket of England and the Aussies lose their first. Marsh oh. picks it up, sends it to the big man. The Bison's had enough. That's in Japan, that one. Smashes it. No, he's got it fine, that's a clever shot. Warner really going through the gears now. Edged and taken, one-hander. Nicky P just drags it in easily. Never shows a great deal of reaction. Now Zari Joseph, nothing but Marsh is gone. Anything could happen off this first ball. <laughs> and typically does, just lazily slides it down a third man for a boundary to get things underway. Comp to see what's happening if he's batting. There's a bit of glove on that, there is. Warner departs, Joseph gets a second one, throws his head back. Does Warner, his fine innings of 70. Comes to a close. Why would they? Uh... Well, that is picked up by Stoinis. One step. That's another biggie. That might have cleared the lot. Yep, arms up in the air. Spot on. And they're in the bushes looking for that one. They'll need the whipper snipper. The Stoin. He's got it in the area again. That's a better shot. But he might not have got the distance required. Man comes underneath and it won't be easy. It just hung up directly to that breeze. Stoinis departs. Will look good off the bat. But not so. Well, that's it with power. That is absolutely smoked by Tim David. Full slower. High up in the air. It's going to be tough on the breeze. Should be there to Maxwell and is. The West Indies are right back in this. Brandon King takes the catch. Ground is to the offside. Well, that is a shot and a half from Wade. He can hit full 360. A couple of steps down the wicket. Carves it away over cover for six. Scoop low, flat, hard. Somehow he manages to get that over the rope. Hits it high with the wind behind him. Goodbye, yeah. says Tim David. Oh, that is massive from David. High, tough one to catch. A couple of men come in. Now they don't talk to each oh, other. They both stopped and waited and said it's yours. Scooped, it's low, it's hard. Tim David's putting on a display. Wade picks it up. It's the long side, and it's too long. Matthew Wade's fine. Cameo comes to an end. Brilliant. Oh, Andre Russell's on a hat-trick. Castles Abbott, big man from Jamaica with a couple of late poles. Hat-trick ball. Zampa on strike to Russell. Oh, and he beats the field. And somehow Zampa gets it to the rope. The Aussies will end up on 213. <laughs> Width and smoked by King. That's a nice start. Back with a point. Goodbye. Oh, he's collared that away on the leg side. Just swats it. Oh, gee, that's hit with the breeze. Yeah. And it goes on the breeze. Welcome to the crease, Glenn Maxwell. Oh, that's as big as anything we've seen tonight from Charles. Has he cleared the lot? Lost the kookaburra somewhere out the back. Go on, Charlie. Oh, down. Oh, through the gap. Another boundary. The tenth four alongside two sixes in the opening 32 legal deliveries. Fraser McGurk in the future. Advances. Yes. Didn't get to the pitch. Hopeful cry of catch. It went through with the shot. The run's still coming for the West Indies. 
Oh, opens up the stumps, smashes it, out. Good catch, David Warner. First wicket falls, Zampa gets the wicket. Oh, it's a dear. wild delivery. He gets bat on it, does King. It will be his 50. Well played. He's keeping his side in the game. The 100 comes up and a bit of hope there on that bench. He tugs that away. Good catch. Abbott. Great hands. King's night is done. Stoinis breaks through. Hung up and got caught into the breeze. Oh, that's not getting <laughs> caught unless you're 15 rows back. Good hit by Rovman Powell. Goes straight down the ground, into the breeze, no problem when you're Rodman, pow! Couple of big sixes by Rodman. Yeah. Up and under, should be the end of the innings, it is. Short and sweet from Powell. Maxwell's pumped because he gets the wicket after getting some tap. Big one because the West Indian skipper is done it. First big shot from Puran. Doesn't completely time it, but he's so strong, he manages to clear the rope. Oh, that has been... Definitely times, just the way you open the face. Stoinis to hope. Picks it up, takes it on the fielder who's not on the rope. Oh dear. He's about 20 in Maxwell. Hope goes again. This time it will not clear the field. Catch taken. The Aussies have been good. Abbott with a third catch. Hope is finished. Hey! Roger up, bowls him. Zamp is so good. Cannons it into the poles. And it's not done, but it's close to it. Straight down the ground, into the breeze. He sliced it straight, if you can do that when you see on the replay. He's launched his second six. Paran goes away on the leg side. It's a long bound. There's going to be another catch out there. Abbott's taken four. He's having catching practice out there. It's like training on a Tuesday night. They keep hitting it to him. Rutherford picks it up and sends it. Watch out if you're a little one out there because the ball's flying. David Warner mic'd up for us. Sliced away. It'll be another wicket this time. Abbott, he can't take the catch there, but he gets it. And it means a bit to him as well. Shepard needs to go. It's well bowled by Berendorf. Another catch. Skipper takes it. And now they're going down. Oh, that's a pretty good hit. It's hanging up in the breeze, but it clears them something for the West Indies. Jason Holt has decided to go. Well time, absolutely smashed away. Four more, just hanging in, the faintest of hopes. Holder needed to hit the first of six, and did. There's a full toss, he belts it away. Three fours and two sixes. Abbott gets it done, Australia win it. In the end by 11 runs, the first T20 international, the West Indies finish eight for 202. And a really entertaining game of cricket.